الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علی رسول اللہ وال علیہ صاحب اجمعین اما آباد اعوز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقل جا الحق و ذاق الباطل ان الباط القا نظہ کا رب شہلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقد تم السان یف کہ کولی دا رسپیکٹ چیف گیس ڈاکٹر ریچرڈ ہینس ڈاکٹر امر سینا مسٹر کرشنا چنچوراڈیا دی ادر ڈگنیٹریز مائی رسپیکٹ ایلڈرس اینڈ مائی ڈبلز اینڈ سسٹرس آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ود دا اسلامک گریٹنگز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you. The topic of this evening's talk is Terrorism and Jihad, an Islamic perspective. And many of you may be aware that more than 20% of the world population, they are Muslims. More than one-fifth of the world population consists of Muslims. But unfortunately, Islam is also a religion which has the maximum number of misconceptions. The people that have the maximum misconception about any religion as a whole is the religion of Islam, which also happens to be today the fastest growing religion of the world. And these misconceptions are increasing, especially after the 11th of September 2001. And today, number one, top of the list amongst the misconception is terrorism and jihad in Islam. Whenever a person hears about a Muslim, immediately he starts thinking of a fundamentalist or a terrorist. What is the meaning of the word fundamentalist? A fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to the fundamentals of a particular subject. For example, if a doctor has to be a good doctor, he should know, follow, and practice the fundamentals of medicine. Unless he is a fundamentalist in the field of medicine, he cannot be a good doctor. For a scientist to be a good scientist, he should know, follow, and practice the fundamentals of science. Unless he is a fundamentalist in the field of science, he cannot be a good scientist. For a mathematician to be a good mathematician, he should know, follow, and practice the fundamentals of maths. Unless he is a fundamentalist in the field of maths, he cannot be a good mathematician. You cannot paint all fundamentalists with the same brush, that all are good or all are bad. Depending upon the field in which a person is a fundamentalist, you can label him accordingly whether he is a good human being or a bad human being. For example, if there's a person who is a fundamentalist robber, a fundamentalist thief, whose profession is to rob, whose profession is to steal, he is a nuisance to society. He's not a good human being. On the other hand, if you have a fundamentalist doctor whose profession is to save human lives, then he's a boon for society. He's a good human being. You can't paint all fundamentalists with the same brush that all are good or all are bad. Depending upon the field in which he's a fundamentalist, you have to label him accordingly. I am proud to be a Muslim fundamentalist because I know, I follow, and I strive to practice the fundamentals of Islam. And I know that there is not a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. And I challenge any human being in the world to point out a single fundamental of Islam from the authentic source of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. There may be certain people who may find 
that certain teachings of Islam, certain teachings of Quran, they are against humanity. But the moment you give the logical reason for it, the statistical record of the world, there will not be a single human being who can point a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. That's the reason I say I'm proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. And I say in the same breath that for a Hindu, to be a good Hindu, he should be a fundamentalist in the field of Hinduism. Unless he's a fundamentalist Hindu, he cannot be a good Hindu. For a Christian, to be a good Christian, he should be a fundamentalist in the field of Christianity. Unless he is a fundamentalist Christian, he cannot be a good Christian. If you read the Webster's Dictionary, it tells us that the word fundamentalism was first coined, was first used to describe a group of American Christians who were called as Protestant Christians in the earlier part of the 20th century when they objected to the church. Previously, the Christian church, they believe, the message of the Bible was from Almighty God. These Protestant Christians, they protested and they said that not only is the message of the Bible from God, but every word, every letter of the Bible is from God. If any human being can prove that Bible is the word of God, then this movement of fundamentalism is a good movement. On the other hand, if someone proves that Bible is not the word of God, then this movement is not a good movement. If you read the Oxford Dictionary, the Oxford Dictionary says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to the ancient doctrine of any religion. But if you refer to the new edition, the revised edition of Oxford Dictionary, there's a slight change in the definition. It says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to any ancient doctrine of any religion, especially Islam. The word especially Islam has been added in the revived edition of Oxford Dictionary. 